Ranger here, and today what I'm going to do is clean um, my EcoSmart tankless water heater, and so that's here. But what I got to do first is shut everything down. Now I could just do the ones just for the water heater, but I'm actually going to shut the whole house down. Um, so I'm not worried about it for myself. got our cold water coming in and then this is where it flushes and the hot water comes out so what I got to do is not only turn these off but unscrew these then right here um, everything's off as you can see but what I've got to do is what the main the company says is is take off all these connectors and then unscrew that and then I'll unscrew these and take them off and then we'll, I'll show you what's inside. All right, so as you can see, these are off and there's all kind of gunk and residue and deposit on here. So I wanna make sure, and before I put everything back together, I'm gonna to clean those off. All right, on the top here that I need to take the connections off, I actually can't see them. So I'm going to go up and come down on it and I need a Phillips head. So right now I'm getting the ones in the back. I've already disconnected all the front ones. These are all off now in the back ones. So what I'm going to do is now I've got to take off these brass looking pieces off the copper. So we're going to take those off next. What I'm having to do is take the entire thing off. As you can see here, I already took these out and they are soaking. I had to replace one of them, but we're going to take the whole thing off because I got to clean this cylinder right here. This is obviously an addition after the fact, but I wanted to discuss the heating element that broke and was ruined I couldn't use. And it was sitting in the cylinder that I showed you, but it was stuck with mineral deposits and to itself. And so it broke completely. I'm going to show a picture of that, but we couldn't use it. So this was a lot more work than I was thinking. However, these are the two that were part of the original set in these canisters, and they are the heating elements. So what I had to do is buy a new one to put into this. So let's lift this up and slide it in. And I did. talked about this before but y'all know righty tidy lefty Lucy is that not the funniest thing I'm gonna hook back up the hot water and cold water All right, let's have our fingers crossed it's gonna work. All right, we're gonna turn the electricity on. Turn the water on first. At 124 degree Fahrenheit, we're flashing. We're on. Off. It should be on. Fingers crossed, we're gonna try it. 